Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia, today's broadcast. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of Western Armenia. Pressures are increasing against Armenians of Artsakh, Artak Begladian. The criminal proceedings initiated against the Mayor of Askeran, Marta Gert and Stepana Gert are unaccessible. Geram Stepanyan. Azerbaijan has destroyed the memorial complex of Berzor. Western Armenia and industry. Victims of Western Armenia. Support the State Television of Western Armenia. On May 25, took place the speech of Armin Isaacan, the spokesperson of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The 11th anniversary of establishment of the National Assembly of Western Armenia took place and Zoom meeting of the National Assembly was held, was said in the speech of the speaker. The first president of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamian, presented the challenges of Western Armenia and our current strategy, foreign and domestic policy, defense issues, and the works that need to be carried out in the future. Chairperson of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Nadia Hayatunyan, read the declaration, the formation, and the National Assembly of Western Armenia during the Zoom meeting. The Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia quoted a part of the speech of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosian. You can watch the speaker's speech over below. For the third day, already law enforcement officers have been conducting searches in the Department of Community Leaders and Mayors forcibly displaced from the Republic of Artsakh. Two days ago, the apartment of Haik Shamirian, the mayor of Askeran, occupied by Baku, was searched by the law enforcement officers of Eastern Armenia. Then he was arrested on a day later, according to the court decision. How the arrest was chosen as the preventive measures. Yesterday, the law enforcement officer arrested the mayor of Marta Kev, Misha Gurjian, and he was also charged. And today, a search was made in the apartment of the mayor Stepanagar. The mayors of Askeran and Marta Gert are accused of causing great financial damage to the state. It refers to the cars under the control of municipalities which appropriated the council and left under the management of the mayor. In a conversation with journalist Artak Begloyan, former state minister of Artsakh, former defender of human rights, referred to the criminal persecutions against Armenians of Artsakh. The criminal proceedings initiated against the mayor of Askeran, Marta Gert and Stepanagar are unaccessible. Yagam Stepanagar and their real goals noted that everything is very understandable. It's clear that law enforcement officers are carrying out a political order of political processes on their way. Repression against Armenians of the criminal proceedings initiated against the mayors of Askeram, Marta Gert and Stepana Gert are unacceptable. Of course, I am not aware of details of those legal processes, but I'll at least uh, as far as it is published in Illinois, everything is obvious to me. First, the period is not chosen randomly. Here is it the culmination period of the movement, so to speak, where the people of Artsakh and various figures of Artsakh play an important role, including community leaders as the main publicization figures and actors, said Artak Begladian. The criminal proceedings initiated against the mayors of Askeram, Marta Gert and Stepana Gert, are inaccessible because they clearly have a political connection. There is no doubt that this streak will continue. Geram Stepanyan, and Artsakh human rights defenders said about it. Is it a coincidence that these groundless proceedings were initiated after the leaders of pensioned communities participated in several meetings? As for the factual and legal basis, there are also serious questions. By confronting the head and councillors of these communities with the fact that authorized bodies of Eastern Army force them to privatize the community vehicles in order to be able to carry out state accounting. This is another example of what happens when the authorities of Eastern Army ignore the rights and the two of the people are to have avoid systemic solution, he wrote. Once again, Azerbaijan continued to destroy memorial complex of Berzor. Azerbaijan blogger Kiaram Razgmovar, who stands out on the internet for his set rate of Armenians, published a video a few days ago where it can be seen that Azerbaijan have desecrated the memorial of the fallen freedom fair warriors of the 51st Battalion. The monument is planted with the red paint, desecrated with various inscriptions. The lower parts are destroyed. Resolution 2582, adopted by the European Parliament in 2022 on the destruction of cultural heritage of Artsakh, where the European Parliament obliged Baku to ensure the exclusion of any interference in the Ar Armenian heritage areas, to maintain the principles of the authenticity of the heritage and to carry out historian works exclusively in accordance with that principle. The desecration of the monument also violates the criterion of cultural significance of the heritage is established by Bureau of Australia 1999 by statute. And here, in relation to the destruction of historical evidence, it should be noted that according to the criteria of cultural importance, preservation of the historical value of the heritage means how the historical evidence of the value is preserved. Before the First World War, Armenians occupied an influential position in foreign and domestic trade, industrial production and banking affairs of the Ottoman Empire. They concentrated the important 
economic levers of the country in their hands. Compared to the Armenian, the Turkish bureaucracy was in a derivative state and did not perform a significant element in the Ottoman economy. The young Turk authorities were also concerned that the economic and material empowerment of Armenians would become the basis for their political victories tomorrow. Gradually, the mentality of the Turkish authorities grew stronger that sooner or later the subject Armenians of yesterday will take over their power as they did the economic arena. The organizers of the genocide against the Armenians, apart from the pursuing political goals, also intended to get rid of the economic competition of the Armenians. By annihilating the Armenians living in the Ottoman Empire, the young Turkish authorities eliminated their powerful competitor from the economic arena at the expense of their wealth, and they were able to cover their huge war expenses and pay the huge foreign debts threatening the country's independence. You can learn more about the topic on the website of Western Armenia TV. Cepriel Liplikcian, born in Kayseria, lived in Istanbul, engaged in clothing trade found at Liplikcian Trading House. On April 18, 1915, he was arrested and killed on the way to the Arbeker. He was a victim of the genocide against Armenians. The TV station of Western Armenia, being loyal to its principles and the years, continue its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our TV station did not engage in self-promotion. It broadcast mainly political and other contexts related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as news raising various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, their government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear viewers, with your support, the possibilities of the TV station will expand and strengthen even more. We are strong together. This was the basic news for today. Goodbye.